Guys, I, I didn't expect this. I really did not expect this. I'm very confused. But Love Island's uh, Sam and Tom have broken up. Okay. Um, hey guys, it's Marav Ronald here. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back at again, it is daily and consistent content. Inject it, click that button, and subscribe. And let's get into this uh, video, which I didn't expect to do, but apparently um, articles, the Sun, Daily Mail have all said that, you know, these two have decided to part ways, they have broken up, and that, you know, they actually parted ways in secret just weeks after finishing in third place is what the Daily Mail is reporting. So they actually broke up far sooner than expected, only a couple of weeks after. I honestly did not expect Sam and Tom to break up so soon. I feel like couples break up on Love Island, the majority of them have, but I didn't expect couples to break up so soon. The show did end, I believe, March the 15th. It's just been over a month, and the couple who've come third in the competition have already broken up. So this is the fourth couple, I believe, to no longer be seeing each other, but this is the first couple in the top four finale to break up, and they broke up quite quickly, guys. And they both have, you know, spoken up, um, and they said the distance um, between them was too much and they are both really focused on their careers post Love Island. Sam and Tommy have sadly decided to call it a day. There is a lot of love and respect there, but it just was not going anywhere. Um, fans feared that they had split because they hadn't been seeing each other for quite a while. You know, articles reporting that they were distant, they weren't posting together. And that really isn't an indicator in my opinion, because I feel like couples like to post. Some couples don't like to post. That doesn't mean anything. Um, so the fact that they have broken up is quite interesting, unexpected, didn't really see it coming to be honest with you, especially because they both, you know, kind of need to stay together if they're going to have the respective careers that they want. Um, and that, you know, most couples would really rinse out the three month deal before they break up, um, beforehand, especially breaking up so soon before Love Island summer begins is a big risk taker because now, you know, we all know as a couple, engagement is much more higher, business is much more higher, deals are much more higher, which is why a lot of these couples do it. But at the same time, on the other perspective is that, you know, I don't want to fake it. I'm not into you, you're not into me, the distance is too hard, let's just do our own thing. Let's just keep it a buck and keep it honest. So, you know, you can look at it from two different perspectives, but they have said that the distance between them two is too much of an issue and therefore things just won't work between them. So these two have just broken up the first couple of the top four finale, I didn't expect it, maybe you guys did, but I just thought that I didn't expect it to be so soon. Tom did announce that he got an eBay deal, which I think is great for him, and you know, I believe they even promised that they were doing something with ITV or something like that, so I thought that they were gonna have their own little, you know, two episode stint with ITV. I thought something like this was in the works, so. Yeah, I'm just confused. I don't know why also it's raining so heavy and we're nearly in May. I'm also confused about that. But we'll get onto that in another day, Charles. It's just London. But yeah, I feel like when it comes to this season, there hasn't been much of these Islanders who've come out with the deals that they want or etc. And you know, that could be due to the fact that it is a winter edition. The social following count, you know, was banned throughout the show. You have to only post when you leave. So it's very interesting as well when it comes to that indicator in that, you know, is the, the is this the end? in relation to Islanders actually going on there to get these big deals. Could it promote authenticity of Islanders going on? Um, I don't know if it will, because we all know people go in there to, for a little cute coin, but yeah, I don't know. Make of this what you will. Quick four minute video. Simon and Tom are broken up. The finale couple are over. Let me know your thoughts out guys. Subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys soon for another review.